Do cheat days work? Find out in today's Shape It Up video. Hi, welcome to Shape It Up, where each week I provide new videos on workouts, fitness tips, and nutrition. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and then you'll know when the next Shape It Up video is out. So what constitutes as a cheat day? Depending on who you ask, you may get different answers. My idea of a cheat day is there's a day where you are just eating until you feel like you're going to vomit or eating like you're eating like on Thanksgiving day, we tend to stuff ourselves so much that you're just physically cannot move and it's just a lot of food in one day. Or another way to say it is, is to see how much food you can ingest in 24 hours. Some people define cheat days as just a day where you are indulging in foods that you are not allowed to eat. That could also be a cheat day. It doesn't mean that you're overeating. You are just indulging in foods that you normally don't eat throughout the week. So what do I think about cheat days? I really don't think they're a good idea. And here's why. When you decide to do a cheat day, all of a sudden you are in restriction mode. So that means you cannot eat certain foods throughout the week. And then on this magical one day, you get to eat whatever you want. It may work for a little bit, but long-term it is not going to work for you because you're going to find that, say your cheat day is on Friday, but you have a wedding to go to on Saturday. So what do you do? Do you switch the day or do you extend it from Friday to Saturday? If you just would allow yourself to eat smaller um, portion sizes of the foods that you want throughout the week, I think you're better off mentally prepared for a lifetime of keeping the weight off or keeping your physique the way you want it to be. I also think having cheat days, especially if you're doing the cheat day version number one where you're eating a ton of food and seeing how much food you can ingest in one day, that's gonna lead to binging and um, very disorganized eating patterns. I it's not a good path to go down. There's a lot of guilt afterwards. So after you've done your cheat day or during your cheat day, you might be on, you know, in cloud nine because you're eating all these foods that you're not allowed to eat. And then when the day is over, you realize how much damage you've done and then the guilt kicks in. So I really don't think cheat days are a good idea physically and mentally. If you are in this for the long haul and you want to have lasting permanent weight loss, you have to ditch the mentality of all or nothing or starvation mode and restriction. You really need everything in moderation and just watch your portion sizes. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please share it with a friend and remember to get fit, be fierce and have no limits. Stay tuned for the next Shape It Up video, which will be coming out very shortly.